On Saturday, November 12th, Daniel City, Hendrick City, and Roberto Luongo were inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Tonight, we honor and celebrate the distinguished careers of our three first ballot Hockey Hall of Famers, three teammates, three leaders, and three men of exemplary character that gave their all and gave us a lifetime of memories. Daniel Sedin. Most goals in franchise history. Most game-winning goals. Most power play goals. And most overtime goals. Daniel's numbers tell quite a story. But there is so much more to this exceptional athlete. I pushed Daniel hard, but never as hard as he challenged himself and challenged his brother. He led by example on and off the ice demonstrating the road to greatness lies in an unbelievable work ethic and dedication to be the very best. How fortunate I was to be the coach, knowing that any time Danny jumped over the boards, the momentum of the game could change in our favor. We all remember the shift where over two minutes, Sedinery was on display with Danny scoring the goal. I constantly witnessed shifts from Hank and Danny where they would go to the tough areas, take a pounding, only to win the puck battle and score again. As hard as Daniel worked on the ice, his work in the community is equally Hall of Fame worthy. Always with humility, he continues to make a difference in British Columbia, and we are all better for his commitment. Please welcome the Olympic gold medalist, the Ted Lindsay Trophy winner, and left winger on one of hockey's all-time great lines, Daniel Sedin. How did Henrik Sedin become the all-time Canuck leading scorer? an NHL Ironman of 679 consecutive games and a multi-award winning center he never gave up on the dream he had for he and his brother a dream that required torturous training every summer a passion and pride that drove him to be the impeccable face of the franchise he accepted the burden of leadership as captain with accountability dignity and honor his no-look passes passes to open space, slap passes, somehow always finding a path to Daniel's stick changed the game. He played hockey with confidence, born of intense preparation, and always made sure the dressing room was welcoming to players new to the team. He ensured that the Canucks were a family, a family that always welcomed the opportunity to give back. Henrik stands as an example of how the game should be played and how life should be lived. Please welcome the Art Ross and Hart Memorial Trophy winner, the all-time points leader for your Vancouver Canucks and Olympic gold medalist, Henry City. Roberto Luongo is a first ballot Hall of Fame inductee. His play was sometimes acrobatic, many times flamboyant. Roberto did whatever it took to make the save. His considerable skill was matched only by his unrelenting will and preparation to always get better. Whether at home or on the road, after a win or a loss, the next morning, Louis would be the first on the ice. He loved to practice, loved to prepare, love to play the game. It is said that beside every great coach is a great goaltender. I don't know if I was a great coach, but I do know I had a great goalie, a respected leader, an outstanding citizen that Vancouver was lucky to call its own for eight exceptional seasons. He holds the Canucks goaltender record for most wins, shutouts, goals against average and save percentage. With his arrival, a good team became a great team. And next season, he will have a permanent place in our ring of honor, Roberto Luongo!
everybody. Um, it's my um, this is this is actually the first time I get a chance to address you guys since uh, since I left. So uh, I want a few things I want to say. First, I want to thank you guys on behalf of Hank, Danny, and myself uh, for everything you guys have done over the years. Um, But on, a, but on a personal note, I really wanted to thank you guys for pushing me to be a better goaltender, pushing me to be a better person every single night. And now, I know there's a lot of debate uh, about the Ring of Honor and the flag, but that stuff doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is moments like tonight and sharing it with you guys. So thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you next year. Tonight, our three Hall of Fame players will be honored by the three nations of the unceded and traditional territories of Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh with a traditional blanketing ceremony that symbolizes the highest form of respect and honor from their communities. Please welcome from Musqueam Nation, elected chief, Wayne Sparrow. From Squamish Nation, elected counselor, Wilson Williams. And from Slaywatooth Nation, Sarah Thomas. Please remain standing as the three nations pay tribute for everything these players have shared with us over the years. These blankets are being gifted by the three nations to hold a space in the players' homes to ensure this moment will never be forgotten. We are all forever a family, forever a Canuck. and Aaron Eckblad join our distinguished guests at Center Ice for a ceremonial face-off. Thank you, Chief Sparrow, Counselor Williams and Sarah, and thank you, Daniel, Henry, and Roberto for everything you gave to this city and province.